Hi folks, uh, I will talk here about environments into a quantitative genetics framework and I'd like to start say thanks uh, to the CBMP Congress uh, and here I'd like to, to give credit to this free image from the internet. Uh, well, uh, let's begin introducing some environmental terms like uh, we have here a landscape with some pixels from this landscape will we catch or collect some uh, environments markers or some uh, uh, environmental covariables by envirotyping and the set of these environmental covariables uh, we will have the environ and take a single uh, environment marker marker we have the envirotypic polymorphism uh, assisting the breeding and a single pixel here we have an envirotype let's uh, talk in taking this landscape into, into account and selecting a, a area any area of this uh, property or uh, company uh, let's install a, a breeding trio here from this breeding trio we have uh, some plots breeding plots like here for example maze linear plots and collect some environmental attributes in the uh, phenomenon concept concept uh, we measure the traits here but in the environment concept we will measure the, the collect the environmental information uh, for example here some kind of uh, environmental covariables like temperature or rain frost or altitudes or some soil uh, properties I don't know there's uh, many kinds of uh, environmental covariable we can collect uh, by satellites or uh, climate stations or by vans or drones there's a uh, many types of uh, data collection uh, for example Kriegin uh, climatical variables and go on and here uh, we can say what the the genotype is the best for each pixel in the eye of course this is a, a this is just a single place uh, we have to to put it into a, a a large area to better inferences breed inferences so here uh, this same area uh, we can show this area here and another areas or trios uh, it is important to say that this these points should be experimental or on-farm trios collecting in, in just it farmers and this data could be uh, unbalanced different number of genotypes in each one of these, these points so applying the, the environments methodologies like uh, any any model like uh, mixed modeling or basal modelings or uh, by uh, ecophysiology models we can uh, interpolate also the genotype recommendation to the, the entire eye for example here we have a cultivar or here we have another cultivar and a zoning of uh, intercepting of these, those true genotypes um, of course 
this is not very much operational so we can smooth it to a filed operationalization and uh, to a more uh, practical recommendation uh, like that. So another good result we have breeding zones also called at macro environments by some authors, uh, which is zones that there is low uh, GBAE effects within. Uh, we can note that there is some zones, uh, like for example the zone 2, that there is a few uh, uh, phenotypic data. In the next cycle, we could think in include more data collection point here. Uh, this result is the selection game map. Uh, I mean, the, the locals or sites that maximization the breeding selection, we can uh, differentiate the best genotypes from the, the worst genotypes. Uh, we have here, maybe, we can uh, assess more selected gains and worse here, low here. And why uh, not include more sites in the next uh, cycle here and in this this picture we have the 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 dispersion of frequencies the histogram graph that is we have more is more commonly to include uh, sites in median regions and less common to include sites in the 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 uh, lower or, or higher tail of the distribution but when we see the, the selection gains maybe we can achieve more gains here or here this is uh, a thing uh, that we have to consider in the, the uh, in putting these this, uh, sites in the eye So, uh, let's talk about more uh, theoretical concepts. Here we have a target population of environments that I mean is the, the, the sites wherein the breeding are done or simple that uh, locals that market, breeding markets uh, aiming uh, uh, market consumers of the, the breeding scale. So the, the, the TPE could be uh, uh, spread like that with a whole, very whole distribution or local like these islands or continents or countries, I don't know, or even the company area. Uh, and we have uh, to, to evaluate the sites uh, like here or like into a, a very spread situation like that. Uh, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's important to say that uh, in some cases we have just phenotypic uh, observations into a, a omic like in biomics, we should have uh, also the, the, the phenotype uh, environmental information. For example, in this, each one of these points, we have just genotype or phenotype information. But in uh, those points, we also have covariate, uh, environmental covariables. But in these uh, sites, in these places, we have just uh, 
environmental variable. Why not interpolate those informations to the whole area? Uh, here, a uh, 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 data type that each one of the environmental methodologies will be. Uh, we have this this formation, and here a uh, uh, a method by my team group proposed. So call it uh, this G environments method. Uh, we build some environmental markers uh, by. Uh, <coughs> Uh, artificial intelligence or other regression procedures or even by uh, ecophysiology uh, models and these markers, this environment, the environment marker will be always have a linear relationship with the, the, the trait and after some uh, marker building we have a, a lot of uh, markers that will always have a uh, linear relationship with the trait and regression it into a, for example, RR uh, environments methods we can uh, compute many information about the, the environmental uh, effects over the, the, the trait expression of the genotypes or cultivars. Uh, here are practical results. We have breeding zones with low G by E weeding and greater G by E among the zones. Here we have also a, a recommendation map wherein uh, each one of these colors are a different genotype recommended to the area. It's important to say that uh, here we have many pixels like uh, those ones in, in digital pictures and in into each one of these pixels we have a complete uh, ranking genotype. So this is the first placed uh, genotype genotypes for each one of these pixels but if you would like to, to investigate the second one placed and go one we can perfectly do this and this is a bonus uh, result uh, I mean if we implant this configuration of genotypes we will achieve this kind of uh, productivity or other trait of interest. Uh, here a uh, 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 published paper uh, using eucalyptus genotypes with real data. We have an area in, in Brazil and like eucalyptus growth we have some ages and if you would like to, to explore uh, firewoods or charcoal we can plant at this configuration this is one genotype this is another genotype and if we, if we uh, the like to plant it to um, uh, pulp celluloses we can plant in this exact configuration note that these genotypes is the same here but this genotype is another one there is a age interaction here uh, here a uh, 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 work in an uh, uh, important company in Brazil uh, using Zé, uh, Mace. We can recommend to all genotypes independently the grain maturation or we can uh, separate by maturation groups or early or late maturation. This is the, the exactly configuration of the genotypes should be planted into a, a two states, Brazilian states, into a two Brazilian states of the South, Brazilian South, so first. 
and here uh, important result an important result that it is the we can maximize uh, editability across the the site uh, it's very look like the selection gains uh, i mean the selection gain is strictly related to the editability so places with where I can maximize irritability, of course we can all uh, we can also maximize the selection gain. And here the genetic correlation among different stage or site similarities. For example, we have uh, similar uh, environments. We have high genetic correlation and if if we have different sites we have a very low uh, in in terms of change the ranking the genotypic ranking uh, among these sites uh, these results i consider that is very very interesting and operational for example we do not have be afraid of experimental imbalance. Uh, very uh, those those models I talk to you uh, early in this presentation uh, solve easily these problems of uh, experimental imbalance, like mixed models or other models models, and we have to uh, if we plant. Uh, a low number of experiments, even balanced, it's not a good strategy. Uh, we can have fake selection gain. And other size, on the other hand, uh, if we imbalance experiments, but uh, using a, a, a large number of genotypes, if we, we this, this is a reduction uh, level of uh, balancing, we have not so problems as in this case. Uh, if I I should give you you a dude, I say that plant more experiments, but it's okay if the, they are uh, unbalanced, imbalanced. Uh, I'd like to show you some uh, very, very relevant literatures uh, related to environments. Uh, this is a short time to talk to you, this uh, very interesting uh, team. Uh, so I put here and you can access in the uh, other moment. Uh, taking the finish of this presentation, we can conclude that environomics is, a, is an omics and all area should be addressed. We have to, we, we can uh, achieve some good surprises if we uh, extrapolate genetic inferences to all area and not if it is desired. No, I can uh, investigate to all area and some surprise could be achieved easily. Uh, we must to uh, use a full range of environments. All data uh, should be uh, used in the environment markers. Uh, I mean, of course, temperature or rain or altitude should be uh, KTLs of higher effects, but there is many, many kinds of uh, covariables that uh, make effect in the trait, but we cannot neglect neglected it. Uh, why not test it in models, uh, exactly like uh, genomic models? Uh, all data source could be coupled into a, a 
Environment Quantitative Genetic Framework. Uh, I'm sure that Germano talked uh, 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 Germano talked about uh, uh, genomic strategies uh, coupled with environments, and that's very, very, very cool. And uh, we can assume uh, environments something like a uh, precision breeding uh, techniques. Uh, precision agriculture, the trait should be soil or management practices. And here, the, the treatment is simple like the genotypes or cultivars. Or each one of the, the, the genotypes along the, the breeding, cy breeding cycles and go on. Uh, and we can easily compute genetic breeding parameters uh, coupled into a uh, environments framework. I show you how to compute uh, selection gain, irritability, genetic correlations. Uh, we can uh, compute also a uh, model reliability to the, each one of these pixels or uh, uh, how, how many times a single genotype is recommended to a single pixel? Uh, there's many kinds of genetic uh, parameters we can uh, calculate to uh, this uh, genetics framework. So, we have no much more time and I'd like to thank you very much uh, for your attention. Uh, I apologize for my far native English speaker and to CBM people, Congress, thank you very much and I see you.